Hi guys, uh, P here, N6QW, and uh, as I promised on the N6QWBlockspot.com, I was going to run some tests on uh, various amplifiers, and the one here uh, in particular today is the NE5534 driving the LM380, and uh, I have a scope hooked up on the input on the input side, and you can see there's nothing here, uh, but on the output side. Uh, I've got it set at uh, 200 millivolts, and uh, what you're seeing is uh, the fact that uh, you've got some um, just floating things here, not everything well grounded. As a matter of fact, if I touch the board, you'll see a pretty dramatic uh, reduction in uh, the scope pattern, and that's, uh, that's ground noise, so I'm, I'm providing the ground. So uh, that's an important lesson when you're building uh, receivers or, or transmitters for that, for that fact. Uh, it's important to have really good grounding because then you can get all kind of noise coming into your circuits. Uh, one particular individual uh, sent me uh, a comment that uh, he had used the LM386 and uh, without no signal present uh, he was uh, seeing all kind of uh, uh, noise and uh, what have you and I suspect uh, the, the problem or the issue was, uh, was in fact the, the ground loop and in fact uh, insufficient grounding so uh, you can see this you can see the scope here the scope pattern and that's uh, with me providing ground and now when I take my finger off there you can see that uh, jump up pretty dramatically so uh, a lesson to be heard and anyway uh, what I'm going to do now is I, I have a little device here called the EZM electronic studio FG-100 DDS function generator and uh, this is powered off of the computer, which is over here. Uh, so you just plug it into the USB port. I suspect if you had any 5-volt power supply, it would supply us. It does not come with batteries. At least I, I didn't find a place where you put them. And uh, you have a choice of uh, four or five functions. You can have a sine wave. You can have a square wave, triangle wave. Uh, you can have a sawtooth, a reverse sawtooth. Uh, and it gives you capability up to 500 uh, kilohertz. So uh, quite a... A good piece of equipment has a DC offset. Uh, you got to manually enter the frequencies, and it's um, it's not uh, real functional from the standpoint. At least I haven't found it to be that you can uh, just sit there and dial in frequencies. You have to dial in each individual frequency, and you have to do that with a series of buttons, which are along the the bottom here. So I mean, at a fixed frequency or uh, running at several frequencies, you must um, manually enter each of the fre frequencies that you want. It's not a matter of just turning it down and, and the frequency changes. So, I mean, you, you only get so much for 39 bucks. By the way, there is a, a significant amount of noise that you get from the computer once you hook this up. Again, uh, a grounding issue, and uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you here in, in one second. I'm going to stop this video, and I'm going to hook up, and then I'll turn the uh, video back on. You can hear... When this function generator is powered up and not producing the tone, just hooked into the computer, uh, you're picking up some of the noise from the computer. So uh, just hold one second here. Okay, uh, that's with the DDS just on, just plugged in, not powered on. Now I'm, now I'm plugging it on. And it's, uh, it's coming in at, um, I'll turn this screen down a little bit. It's coming in at uh, 100,000 hertz. So let me uh, change the screen here so we can uh, do something useful. And I'm going to move the cursor over. So first I've got to zero that value. by They have up, up down switches. So I move the cursor over to uh, 1,000. I hope I went by it here. 1,000. Add a 1 in there. And then it has a run and stop button. Okay. That's 1,000. And you can see the input signal level here. And then the output signal level here. And you can see at full volume, that sine wave becomes a... That sine wave suddenly becomes a, a kind of a truncated square wave. So at full volume... And which would hurt your ears. Uh, you're going to uh, you're going to actually uh, have some uh, some distortion. Now I've set the signal level real low. And certainly uh, you would have 
sufficient signal. We're looking at um, something in the range here for the for the input level. We're some, looking something in the range of about uh, 100 millivolts, 100 millivolts, and on the output signal level. Uh, we're looking in the uh, two volt range. So, is it perfect? No. Are you going to see some distortion at extreme at the volume wide open? You probably will. But uh, for normal, ordinary room volume, this uh, NE5534, assuming you do all the grounding correctly, and uh, assuming that you uh, uh, wire everything properly should provide sufficient audio output without distortion. Uh, the LM380 is, is known for its low distortion uh, capabilities. So this is N6QW, and this is our little demonstration of the uh, NE5534 driving the LM380. And uh, when you, when you uh, disconnect the signal source, you can see the hum goes away. So, uh, you know, grounding is really important. Common grounds, uh, not ground loops, is uh, very, very critical to uh, successful operation here. So uh, this is the information. And uh, uh, just to give you a feel, having a, a two-channel scope makes sure makes things uh, a, a lot easier. So, yes, you will get some distortion when, you're, when you have the gain wide open and you also ha don't have uh, common grounds. This is Pete, N6QW.